I am Chief McCoy from the Philippines. Decarbonization is the biggest transformation the shipping industry has faced in decades. It's not just about cleaner fuels or greener ships. It's about preparing the people who make global trade possible, the seafarers. The International Maritime Organization has committed to reaching net zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050. And to get there, the industry is turning toward alternative fuels such as LNG, methanol, ammonia, and hydrogen. Each of these fuels brings new opportunities and new challenges. LNG reduces CO2 emissions, but it's still a fossil fuel. Methanol is technologically proven, but it's not completely carbon-free. Ammonia produces no carbon emissions, but it is highly toxic and its combustion can lead to the formation of NOx, which has a global warming potential approximately 298 times greater than CO2. Now, hydrogen burns cleanly, but its very low density and calorific value by volume require larger and more complex storage facilities like cryogenic tanks capable of maintaining temperatures of negative 253 degrees Celsius or high-pressure tanks that allow hydrogen to be compressed up to 700 bar. So while technology is advancing fast, the real question is, are our people ready? This is where the concept of a maritime just transition comes in. It means ensuring that as we move toward decarbonization, no seafarer is left behind. That training, education, and support evolve together with technology so crews can operate, maintain, and respond safely under these new conditions. Because a low carbon ship is only as safe as the crew that runs it. We need to invest not only in new engines and fuels, but in the skills, competence, and confidence of our seafarers. The just transition is about fairness. It's about creating new pathways for training, certification, and employment, so the workforce can adapt to a greener maritime industry without losing opportunity or safety. The road to net zero will be long, but it's one we must take together, because decarbonization it's not just an environmental goal, it's a human one. So let's empower seafarers to lead this transition safely and sustainably.